Now on Friday, President Obama will be making a historic visit to Hiroshima. He will become the first sitting US president to travel to the site of the world's first nuclear attack. Well, a Japanese man who survived the bomb attack has dedicated his life to identifying the 12 US prisoners of war who died there. Filmmaker Barry Frechette has told Mr. Shigiaki's Mori story in the film Paper Lanterns, and he joins us now. Uh, Barry, grateful for your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Extraordinary to hear uh, Mr. Shigiaki Mori's story. Firstly, tell us, how did you find him? Well, I found him through... Uh What's amazing about the story is he spent so much time actually reaching out to the family members of the 12 POWs. Um, he, he sends Christmas cards to them. So uh, once I was able to connect with the families, uh, it was a few steps away and a couple emails away that we actually made a connection almost three and a half years ago now. Why did he want to do that? Why did he want to recognize the Americans? Um, you know what? He's a, he's a very special man, I think. You know, he had witnessed some terrible things. He was an eight-year-old boy when the bomb was dropped. Um, and he lost family members. And I think for him, he tried to imagine what it was like for these American POWs to be so far away from home and to be scared and alone and, uh, you know, for their families to wonder what happened. So I think for him, it struck a nerve and it really became his cause for almost 40 years now. So... Um, it really struck a nerve with them, and, and, and I give him a lot of credit. He stuck with it, and, and it's made such a difference here for a lot of the families here in the States. And just talk to us about how the families reacted when they heard from, from this man, this Japanese man who was uh, essentially digging up a uh, history that was very uh, emotional and difficult for many of these families. Well, yeah, there was, a, you know, when, when the letters first started to come over, and it, and it took him you know, years. The last family he found was in 2012. You know, a lot of them were skeptical. They didn't quite know, you know, his motives and why they were reaching out. But, you know, after a little while and some, uh, I'm sure, persistence, uh, you know, he was really asking them for their 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 loved one's uh, picture and their permission to really be placed on the wall uh, in the register of remembrance. And, and what that means is anyone who was killed by the atomic bomb is on that list. And and he worked very hard to make sure there were 12 American represented on that list. And then your paths crossed, of course, as you said, three and a half years ago. And now you have this film that is being premiered in D.C. this weekend. Uh, just tell me what, what, how your relationship developed with uh, Shigiaki Mori. Well, you know, um, uh, we took a trip. I took a trip alone in uh, 2014 now to, to meet him in person. And, uh, you know, when I first went in, we were kind of feeling each other out and I didn't quite speak Japanese but um, when I went into his little home he had laid out in front of us all 12 pictures of the Americans and he went through each one Brissett, Porter, Norm, uh, Brissett, Porter, Neil, Baumgartner and he knew each one and who was married and who wasn't and where they died and what their situation was and at that point I think I knew there was there was so much more to this man that made him special so we've connected now I think every day this week at this point, because we're so excited about President Obama making the trip that, um, you know, it's a very special moment for him. So uh, it's a very special connection we've made over a couple of years now. Well, we're grateful for you bringing it to a wider audience. Uh, Barry, thank you so much and, and good luck with the premiere this weekend. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.